What is going on guys? Nikki 13 here back again with another Hunter Hunter. We're on episode 28 and we are getting into the main course it feels like of the Heavens Arena. So I don't know where this is going to go. I don't know because like situations like this we usually get um you know, we usually get some some kind of crazy battle thrown our way, right? Um they wouldn't have these tournaments without introducing something pretty extraordinary and now maybe maybe this whole tournament was the was the point of uh Killua finding you know essentially a new teacher a sensei a master whatever you will um for nin maybe maybe this nin technique is something that's going to be like very big well of course it's going to be very big because we wouldn't see Killua going off to train with someone if this weren't going to be like a really big deal for his character or for the show in general right um so maybe maybe the whole uh heaven's arena thing is just for that purpose mainly um but still a part of me just thinks you know usually when we have these tournaments and things like this in anime uh there's gonna be a really crucial battle that happens you know uh that's from my experience what i've seen at least generally at least one of the battles in these tournament arc kind of things are like really if not high stakes something that's going to come back later on or something that's going to change a character or something like that you know what i mean so um yeah we'll see and the fact that killa never actually completed the final uh floor the you know that's hmm, i don't know how to feel about that that's uh it's a little worrisome honestly because killa was a beast i'm not gonna lie killa was a beast i don't know um you know how he stacks up to everyone we've seen so far um in terms of like the hunters and you know, I mean, we, we got a little bit of an idea of his power as opposed to his brother or uh, Hisoka. But I'm wondering how he might stack up to, like, the um, the hunters we saw initially, which were doing the exams. Like, uh, you know, we did see him uh, kind of go up against the old man. Um, I, I, can't, I, don't, I keep forgetting his name. Um, I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't remember his name, the old guy, because he's just, he's not in a whole lot of this, but... Um, you know him and as well like as well as like uh the girl with the green hair that did the um the cooking you know with the eggs or whatever for um when they were in the hunter exam first like i don't know maybe like sixth or seventh episode or something like that but uh yeah i'm just interested to see where killua falls into the whole power structure as far as like those more prominent um stronger characters are you know like where he falls between all that so um yeah, I don't know. Uh, Killua just doesn't seem like the type that would need some kind of training, but here we are. That took me by, like, complete surprise when I saw that. So, yeah, guys. Um, I also looked up a filler list. Thankfully, there's no more, um, from what I can see, there's no more, like, recap episodes that I have to skim over or whatever, you know. So, from here on out, we're just barreling straight through to the end of the anime. Um, so, yeah, this is uh, episode 28. If you guys are ready, let me go ahead and bring this up. Alrighty, starting episode 28 in 3, 2, 1, go. I had 251 stories, that's crazy, man. Oh, let me make sure I am, uh, oh yeah, wait, let me bump this up a little bit, there we go. Yo, there has to be, there has to be something... I don't know. I just get the feeling there has to be something here. That's going to be like a really crazy battle or something like that. There's, I don't know. I'm just excited. I'm excited to see where, where we're, uh, where we're headed with this. Obviously upward, but, um, other than that, you know, look at that. That's that top floor too. They got a whole Coliseum up on the top floor of that. That's kind of scary. taking a little better notice of this intro this time yo that's cool though i like the way they're doing this like very slick i like the animation there my thing is is that like if killer was stopped at the top floor before the final challenge something's something's up with that like who was he going against in that case Yo, was was Kurapika's hair longer there, or am I am I tripping? Let 
Yo, we got some really interesting looking characters here, though, man. For real. Like, they look dope. Is the song a little bit different, too? Or... I don't know. Yeah, I think it is. I think that's why it's called the second version, too. We still get this little foreshadowed battle between Gon and Hisoka, too, at the very end. That's crazy, man. So who taught it to his brother? That's my thing. Did you teach it to him? Nin and Nin. Okay. Um, isn't that the same thing? Oh, Gon's getting in in this too. Okay. I just assumed it was just going to be uh, Killa learning this stuff. That doesn't sound good. Is that self-sacrificial? <laughs> okay. Focus to increase awareness of your ego and goals. Okay. Express yourself in words. Temper the will. Acting upon the will. Oh, ooh, okay. So it's a willpower thing, essentially, right? You kind of draw out that inner willpower in, like, in a moment, and there's something that's like forced you up against a corner, you can really release it. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> okay. Right, okay. How strong is this, though? That's my thing. Like, that scared Killua, like, for real. <laughs> yo, yo. Wing ain't playing around. Okay, but that's only two. That's only two steps. Excuse me? Where did Killua go? Oh. <laughs> wow. What? Really? <laughs> Yo, to make Killua back off like that? Oh my lord, that's terrifying. That's fair. That's a fair point. That's going to help you in battle just off the basis that you're not going to want to bag down. Or you're not going to, like, you've already faced something like this. Not much out there is going to make you bag down after coming, you know, in contact with something like this. And really understanding it, you know? Yo, that's so cool. Yeah. He wasn't filling you in on everything? Right. 
right. Really? Okay, so we didn't see this. <laughs> Yo. Oh my god. This poor boy. Yo, he, he like he probably straight up thought he killed him. But he's good. He's good. Like what? Is this kind of a byproduct of Nin? Like his determination? Huh. Like the strength of his soul. Like, is what kind of fuels him to keep getting back up, essentially? Is that what's going on here? Oh. So is that something that the, uh, that Wing didn't teach them, or didn't tell them about, essentially? Ooh. Oh, okay, okay. Really? Force. So. <laughs> he kind of gave him a roundabout clue. Okay, piece of paper. Yo! Yo, what? Oh my god, that gave me such huge Naruto vibes. What? Looking like some... Wow, this could be applied in a lot of ways then. Yeah, that reminded me of the Raikiri, like Kakashi's, or Sasuke's, you know, as well, the Chidori. Oh no, it, on two fronts. <laughs> oh no. Dang. Yo, so. Okay, so I thought Nin was a centralized, like, something that you could only use in your own body. I didn't realize you could apply that to things outside of that as a weapon. That's crazy. Wait, wait, wait. They're not fighting each other, right? Oh, they're just, they're just talking about him. Okay. Zushi, you're, like, three years old, my dude. Like, how? How are you that strong? <laughs> Are we having, like, a free-for-all here or something? Oh, oh. Let me see a different angle, please. Just... Oh. Dude's creeping me out already. What is this? <laughs> okay, I almost thought we were having like a uh like multiple people in one in one fight, but it's still 1v1s, okay. I mean, we obviously know <laughs> there's no chance. They had no chance. I love how God's just like Oh 
<laughs> Why you got a question mark on your underwear, my dude? That's in that spot, too. <laughs> no way. No ways, dude. Yeah, they're just wrecking their way through these floors. Nothing nothing is competing with them right now. That This has got to be where it gets crazy. This is where these stronger opponents have got to be coming in. Floor 200 plus. No, you're amazing at your age. What do you mean? Wow, he's uh, he's quick. Yo, are we going to be fighting Wing in this at some point? Is he one of the, the contestants and we just don't know? What? I thought he said he, uh... Am I tripping? Maybe, maybe he didn't get to the very end. Maybe he was at 190 and didn't go to 200. I thought he went all the way to the basically like the second to last round though. Yo, there was no doubt they were they were gonna make it up here, man. A menacing aura down a dark hallway? Um... Yo, are they, like, sensing their opponent's auras here? What is going on? Is this a test? Is this part of a test or something? Yo, my boys, get a flashlight. <laughs> That's... <laughs> I mean, it's pointing them to go this way, so. Maybe this is like a test of metal, essentially. You know, like, can you work up the courage to actually go through this? Wow. Yo, is this an actual contestant? Like, what is this? Oh my god, it is. I was about to say, I thought it was going to be Hisoka for a second. Okay, you got the same... You're, you're like the referee, right? Was that coming from you? Yo, nah, that's kind of sketchy. One hundred. That's a lot of people. Are they allowed to kill in this? I, I I don't remember if I asked that before. Hello. Uh uh. We got we got cards now. Stop. No! 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 I knew it! I knew it! I had a feeling! Oh my god! Yo! Oh no! Oh no! Dude, of course! Of course he's gonna be here! He's looking for the strong people to fight! Obviously, yes! I, oh, I knew it! I knew it! I knew it. Oh my god, this dude is literally stalking them. That's so creepy. Um, okay. 
Oh, no. He knows about Gon specifically. It's too soon for him. Yeah. Yo. Is that legal for these rules? Can he just keep them from continuing on? Just outside of a match? I mean, I guess people don't want to try and stop him. I wouldn't want to try and stop him. I'm surprised that girl lived. I thought she was going to be dead when I saw that card come down. <gasps> Wing? You going to you gonna move this man? He uses Nin too. Dude, well, is Nin the is Nin the most powerful technique in this world? Like all the top people are using this. <laughs> he did give you guys a hint. That's true. Oh. Oh, he's going to be out completely. He won't be able to come back, right? Wow. Okay, so you pretty much have to keep on going if you start this. Yo, we need that quick. We need that crash course. Just... Yo, we need that summary real quick, my boy. And then we're going to get back here and finish this up. They got time. They got a little bit of time. Yo. Stabbing a vase with flowers? Good lord. A shroud of life energy around you. It envelops your body. Whoa. There's like a stealth mode. There's a defense mode. There's an attack mode, right? Rin, that's the attack mode. Or is that the bluff? That's the bluff, because he mentioned force, right? Is that, that's the attack mode, the fourth? Right. Yeah, they're both... Okay. <laughs> oh. Right, you need the defensive portion of that. Yes. Okay. Yo, he about to blow right through that wall, isn't he? Because the wall doesn't have no any defensive aura, that's for sure. Oh, no, that's your body if you don't learn to protect against that. Wow. Dude, who are you? When did, where did you learn to use this? Did you... Uh, who taught Hisoka? Who taught Killua's brother?
<laughs> Yo. God, of course you're here. Of course you're here. Yeah, I, I knew it. Like, in my heart, I was like, I was like, initially, when someone was about to walk around from the corner, I didn't expect the receptionist. I was expecting Hisoka. But the fact that they, they, they threw me a curveball, and I was like, oh, okay, okay, okay. But then I started thinking about it. I was like, was she the one that was producing this aura? Like, she seemed so nice. But I thought it was maybe like a facade or something, like a put on personality. Or I also kind of had a theory at first, like right before Hisoka showed up, I had a theory that I was like, I was like, maybe this is one of the contestants that killed the receptionist and is just wearing her clothes or something. You know what I mean? And I thought that's where all the evil aura was coming from, from her. But yeah, when I saw Hisoka, I was like, no, there's no way. Uh, I should have known. I did know. I just, the series threw me for a curve and... I was like, okay, that make that that's fine, you know. I, wow, wow. It just makes so much sense that Hisoka's here. It just does. All right, guys. Uh, yeah, that was Hunter Hunter, and we are getting closer to the top floors of the Heavens Arena. I don't know how long this arc is going to be going for, but um, hey. We're getting there. We will pass Hisoka. We will pass him. At first, I thought Wing was going to go in there and, like, 1v1 Hisoka. I was about to be like, oh, my God, we're going to see something crazy here. But, um, okay. That's cool. That's cool. I, I was just wondering, I don't I don't know, like, does Wing participate in these? I don't, I'm curious about that, if he's ever actually participated in any of these, like, you know, tournaments going up the floors. But, um, where, like I was saying, where are these people learning Nin from? I mean, where did Wing learn it from? Where did Hisoka learn it from? Where did uh, Killua's brother, uh, Hanzo, right? Hanzo, I think. Pretty sure. I, every time I say that name, I think of Naruto. I'm sorry. I, I, Hanzo, Salamander. Listen, okay. Um, yeah, I'm just wondering, where where are they learning this from? I mean, did, they, did Hisoka and Hanzo learn it from Wing? Did Wing learn it from someone else? Did they learn it from someone else? Like... Because for right now, it seems like this is the the major, the major uh, like power in this show is Nin. It's like it feels like this is you know the the Super Saiyan from Dragon Ball Z or you know Chakra from Naruto or you know something something along those lines. You know Titans for Attack on Titan. You know like like the the major power. It feels like this is the major power in this show right now. Um, I could be wrong, but it feels like the, the biggest threats in this series so far ha kind of have control of Nin. So, we'll see where all this goes. I, I don't... I'm scared with Hisoka there, I'm not gonna lie. Um, this dude is just... He's creep level to, to the max, like, to 100. So... We'll see. Like he said, I don't, I don't think Gon is trained enough for this honestly like i agree with hisoka there because hisoka destroyed him in the hunter exam killua killua has the potential for sure but i still I, I i almost don't even think that he's ready at this point like seeing hisoka up there and i don't know like there could be someone even stronger than hisoka there for all we know you know uh, I, I don't know uh who knows what like i I'm, i hope we get to see this all the way through like even up to the final battle i hope we don't get any um you know, I hope they don't skip over it much or, you know, just give us a, um, like, throw a wrench into things, essentially, like, near the end and be like, oh, we're not going to actually have the last couple battles, you know. I'm not going to be mad if that happens, but I would really much, very much like to see all this play out because this is getting exciting. We're getting to those upper floors that have the actual competition, and I want to see it. I want to see some good fights, guys. Okay, um, hey, with that being said, I'm going to try and hop into the next one real quick. So hopefully, hopefully all everyone enjoyed, and I will catch you in the next episode. I think we're on 29 next. So uh, until then, guys, thank you so much for watching.